I failed. I'm just wrote a, a tense scene. I just gotta say that's one of my favorite excerpts. Childhood best friend drama. I have never finished a book before. Trauma. I have mixed feelings about NaNoWriMo. Day 17, which was yesterday, I actually reached 15,000 words. Oh my gosh. As I've said previously, there is no way that I'm going to write 50,000 in a month. But this is two previous projects I wrote around 12,000 words and I scrapped the whole thing because it just wasn't working out. I'm currently at 17,700 words and I've just started reading Caraval. <laughs> so um, that's exciting. I'm almost at 20,000 but yesterday I um, didn't quite make 18,000. I'm reading an excerpt from my project Theo. Excuse me, I need to get this up. Here's the excerpt from Project Theo. This is a historical romance and oh my gosh, this car! She made her way down the golden pavement that Theo had showed her. She walked deeper into Athena's forest, being drawn by the enchanting whispers. There was peace here. She passed the acacias and neared the willows. They shone in their purples, pinks, and blues. There was the blessed lake, the water that called her name. She ripped off her dress and dipped her feet into the water. It was cold, then warm. It was golden hour and the sun was setting on her sorrows. She sunk deeper as she walked, the water hugging her bare skin. The cicadas sang as she floated. She was floating on heaven's cloud. There were little floating lights in her peripheral. She stood belly high in the lake. The horizon had devoured the sun and left the moon. The lights were a parade of fairies and fireflies. They waltzed across the water in elegant flutters. There was ethereal singing from underneath her. She felt hands wrapping around her legs, growing like vines. It made its way up to her hips and then she was being pulled under. Her screams echoed through the trees, frightening away four crows. They soared into the night. Her face and her outstretched arm was the only thing above water. She flung her head and cried, help me. A young man appeared, looking down on her. He was striking with long, dark hair. He vaguely resembled Theo. Sweet ma'am, isn't this a conundrum? He pulled her up effortlessly. The creatures beneath held on. He pulled more, lifting himself above the water. The kelpie hand slipped off her and she was safe in his arms. He held her close, wrapping his trench coat around her nakedness. She looked down and saw a tail break the surface. Shrieks followed after muffled, sinister laughs. It occurred to her that they were hovering. She looked up at her savior, who was either a ghost, an angel or a demon. He smiled at her sweetly, the moonlight highlighting his defined shape. Are you my guardian angel? <laughs> yeah, I'm freaking out a little over. I just gotta say that's one of my favorite excerpts. <laughs> and obviously I am still drafting this book right now, so. Please include your excerpts in the comments of your current draft because I would love, I would love to read that. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited about the story. Tonight I reach 19,000 words. I'm almost at 20k. Freaking out a bit right now. Yeah, a bit right now. I'm actually so excited about this. I just wrote a, a tense scene. A lot of tension. is isn't exactly sizzling tension. Um, I've discovered that I don't really like that kind of tension. A lot like I don't put emphasis on the sexual tension, but it is there. 
it's like trying to navigate that um, but quite literally it was just trauma bonding we love some trauma the story is really helping me just kind of organize my thoughts it's been an experience definitely literally the most i've ever written as i've said before i'm so close to 20k honestly i feel so attached i feel so attached to these characters really theo is this is this philosopher and um greek commander's son he has no real purpose in life and he's he's like he's trying to find his his faith he doesn't know what he believes in. Um, ignore my big pimple. I'm struggling to write. <laughs> I just found myself editing over what I had already written and getting into a bit of a loop. And I just, I feel sad today. And um, let's make it difficult. <laughs> let's make it difficult. And I don't want to just force myself either. But I also know that I just, uh, I just want to push myself so that I at least get to 20,000 today because I'm literally like 250 words away but I just nothing is really coming to me this project is really so important to me and I feel like I'm I'm being quite a perfectionist with it because it's just so close to my heart but I'm going to edit it and it'll be fine It'll be okay, Abby. It'll be okay. Doing something like writing a novel, it's not an easy feat. And I have never finished a book before. So I have gone to 14,000 words and gave up on it. But I don't want to give up on this. It's just a little tricky today. So um, I want to read. <laughs> I just want to just just put my nose into a book and and enjoy another world. I'll try to get to twenty thousand, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna be too hard on myself. I'm almost at twenty one thousand words. Woo! I had an epiphany in the shower last night. I had this plot idea before i started writing well actually okay what really happened was that i started brainstorming and writing like october november last year and then i only wrote until like seven thousand words and then i stopped writing this is a project that i already started late last year and i just decided to return to it and finish it and I just like brainstormed some more things and something something I had in mind for the plot was that um was that Theo would be battling with his demons um and it turns out a certain character called Florence actually turns out to be his demon yeah the threads are just weaving together so great I don't know if it's the 28th or the 29th right now, but I hit 23,000 words this morning. So go me. I'm probably gonna have a bit more of a writing session tonight. I don't have much of an update except for the fact that I finished reading Caraval and I've started reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm not into mystery really, I'm into fantasy and romance. I figured I'd take it on board and I would start reading and so far I'm I'm hooked. This is my current reads and I want to read some Brandon Sanderson. Yeah, so I've been thinking about um like book comps. I've been thinking that my book is kinda like like Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garbar. Maybe Cersei or Song of Achilles, but I'm not really sure because I haven't read them yet. I do want to read Cersei and Parenzi. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I want to read some like like Greek retelling books. Oh, oh, oh. and Percy Jackson. It's, it's on my list. It's on my list. So even if you have I've read any of the books, like Percy, Percy Jackson, um, Percy, then please comment your thoughts for me because I need to know if it's worth getting. I probably won't get Percy Jackson. Please. I can't believe I've never read Percy Jackson. Just because I'm in Australia, which is not really like a thing here when I was a kid. But um, 
I'll be caring about, about it, like, the past few years, just since I really got into, like, the butchering community and stuff. I believe I probably, I probably heard about it a while ago, but, yeah. It's, it's not really, like, all, all the hype, or at least it wasn't, like, Harry Potter wasn't actually, sorry. <laughs> I've been toying with some, some themes. Um, and currently there's, you know, like, stepsister and stepmother drama, obviously, and, like, childhood best friend drama. <laughs> Kind of a love triangle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm not doing the love triangle where it's like she like gets with the person like she's not meant to be with and then she like just gets with the person like the weird thing. It's a kind of love triangle where it's like it's clear like what she is wanting. There's some like major edits I want to make. I want to basically write a whole prologue that is not there um, because I didn't really know the characters like i need to write the characters to know the characters because i'm more of a discovery writer turned planter like i was a complete pantser and then i realized that oh i can only get to like twelve thousand words this way so i decided to just plan things out a little bit more i realized that i'm going to have to write like a whole backstory for for theo in like a prologue Thinking Theo backstory when when he was a a kid. Okay, spoilers, but like his mom died because trauma. <laughs> his mom died when he was like fifteen, and then Sophie's mom died from the plague. So then they're like bonding over the fact that their moms died in the same year. It's officially the 1st of May. I forgot to do an update for the last day. My total workout is 24,000 words. I failed Camp Nano technically, which is fine in my book because I don't have the stamina to do that. Like I wrote most days. I was the most consistent I've ever been with a writing project. So there's that like, okay, so I built a habit and I've been writing most days. Some days it's just hard with just pains and stuff and like sitting in a chair is just painful sometimes. <laughs> like apparently I sit like a prawn. I don't try to sit like a prawn. But I do. I have mixed feelings about NaNoWriMo. Even if I missed a day, I still kept going. I still kept up with the challenge. I wasn't really keeping up to date with the NaNoWriMo website either. And like I would write a day, but then I'd forget to update it. <laughs> Maybe I need to be more consistent with my updating. Uh, but other than that, I wrote almost every day. So... I don't know if I'd do Camp Nano again, honestly. And even NaNoWriMo, I feel like it's a good opportunity to just like, to just get going, to build a habit and to become more consistent with it. But I just don't see myself doing that every year. I don't know, like I'll let myself decide when NaNoWriMo comes around. Honestly, I, I don't have the stamina to keep up. I don't know how people are pushing out 50,000 words in a month. Like, kudos to you, but that's not me. <laughs> like, I I need to pace myself, and honestly, like, the story isn't an easy feat. It's emotional at times to write this because it's so, like, so vulnerable, and I just, I can't be speeding through it. And that's just not my personality. I'm not, I'm not fast. It's a bit, it's way too ambitious, but you know, I got 24,000 words, so I got something. <laughs> yeah, I have this problem where I just, if I don't like the story I'm working on, and it just, it turns out that there's too many plot holes, and it's just not working out, and I, that I would have to literally rewrite the entire thing, which has happened with four stories so far, then I would normally stop writing completely apart from like the occasional poetry and maybe a little short story it happened for like six months last year so i don't want that happening again but i don't think it will happen again especially with this story 
I, I really want to finish this story and I feel like even though there are things that I'm going to change, obviously, and I've made editor notes on the things I'm going to change, it's not something where I have to restructure and rewrite the entire book, which I'm so thankful for. <laughs> I haven't finished this draft yet. I'm just going to continue writing my story. <laughs> the next vlogs will be of me finishing my first draft. Oh my gosh. I really want to finish this first draft. I want to finish a book. Okay, I, I want to finish manuscript in my hands. That is my goal right now. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this song. This amalgamation of my thoughts and my feelings. And yeah, that's it.